Hey YouTube, it's your girl Shaman. I'm back with another video. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about deodorant. Deodorant. Natural deodorant. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Got me, you got me, got got me, got me twisted. You got me, you got me, got got me, got me twisted. Now I know you're probably watching this video like, why is this girl talking to us about natural deodorant? Well, because I made the switch about a year ago coming up on a year if not a year and it was a struggle a complete struggle so i'm here to tell you guys about my experience with these products so that i could save you the time the hassle the stank and some money so that way you know you don't have to spend your coin on something that may or may not work for you so i'm gonna first try to put pictures somewhere of each deodorant that I use that I reference in the video so that you guys can get, you know, a nice visual of what it is that I'm talking about. So when you see it in the store and you don't remember, you can at least see the picture and be like, oh yeah, I remember that picture. She said it's a no. <laughs> so I'm going to, like I said, somewhere over here, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first natural deodorant that I ever tried was by Native and it was their coconut scent, something coconut. I'll put a picture. So... I used it for maybe about a week or two and it was burning my skin. I realized, and I think it's the starch that's in their product. Now they do have another one, side note. They do have a sensitive line that doesn't have starch in it anymore. I have not tried it. This was a year ago. A year ago, they did not have that. They only had the one with the starch in it. And when I tell y'all it was burning my arms, it was burning. And I thought like, cause you know, the people on Twitter are like, oh yeah, when you first switch your body's got to get rid of the toxins and da, 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 da. So I thought like, oh, my body's getting rid of the toxins. So that's why my arms are sensitive. That's why my underarms is getting dark and blah, blah, blah. Mind you, I've never ever in my life had dark underarms, like ever. They're always the same tone as the rest of my skin. So for my arms to have started turning dark, I was like, what's going on? And then, like I said, my arms were really sensitive. They were burning. And so finally, I was just fed up with it. Like they were sore to the touch. So I was just fed up with it. And I'm like, you know what? If this is what I got to go through to use a natural deodorant, I'm going to just risk it all. And I'm just not going to care. And I'm going to go back to my regular deodorant. So I was using Secret at the time, their Bubba Vanilla. I have been using that scent for years, so I switched back to it. And as soon as I switched back to it, my underarms weren't sensitive anymore. They weren't burning. And I was using my little spin brush and whatever soap I had in the shower, and it was getting rid of the dark spots. So I don't have those dark spots anymore. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it's because that deodorant has starch in it. So I switched back to the secret deodorant that I was using with the aluminum in it whatever and then I decided okay let me try something else maybe that doesn't have starch in it so I tried the Dove zero percent whatever it's called picture <laughs> that's the one that I tried and I didn't like the the actual scent of the deodorant itself now I'm not sure and because I'll explain this a little bit later I'm not sure if I didn't like the scent of it mixing with my scent or if I just didn't like the scent of it period but whatever it was doing I didn't like it so then I moved on to the natural deodorant by secret sorry I have notes down here so if I keep looking down the one that I used by secret the scent was water lily because the rose water one that they had smelled like mold and like <laughs> I'm not lying to you guys I went to Target, I went to Walmart, whatever store had the secret natural deodorant, I smelled all of the rose water ones and they all smelled like mold. So I went with the water lily scent. And the deodorant itself, the water lily one kind of smelled decent, but then when I would put it on, it like, I was still musty. I wasn't like musty musty, but I was like musty and it was mixing with the deodorant. So it smelled like fresh must <laughs> like it was the craziest thing and this was over the summer mind you so I used that for maybe like two or three weeks and then I switched back over to the dove now the dove when I switched back 
I tried the other scent that they had. Um, it was cucumber melon or something like that insert picture <laughs> so I used I tried the cucumber melon one and I had been using that for like maybe like a month or two mind you it's summertime so it's hot outside when I tell y'all that deodorant would clock out on me like I would put it on I would smell fine I would be you know kind of fresh kind of cool and then the next thing you know it smelled like I hadn't taken showers in weeks and I'm like what does that smell? And then, you know, I go to smell myself and I'm like, bruh, so this is what we do. And it says, I'm pretty sure it says that it's 24 hours on the little packaging or whatever, the label. I'm pretty sure it said it was 24 hour protection. They lied. You get a good 24 minutes out of it and then it clocks out like, I'm going to just head out. So over the summer, I used to have to carry it with me like 24 seven because I never knew when it was going to clock out, like never. And they would do it at the most random times. One time I was at the store, with one of my coworkers, shout out Kendra, but I was at the store with my coworker and we were walking around Walmart and I was reaching up for something, you know, I go to grab something. I'm like, oh no, absolutely not. And so, and I had actually left my little natural deodorant and the place that I was staying at for my job, but I always keep deodorant in the backseat of my car. So, because sometimes, side note, sometimes I will be in a rush and I will genuinely forget to put on deodorant, but I always keep some in my car. So I promise you, if somebody stinks at the function, it's not me. Then it was still over the summer and I decided that I was going to try Love Beauty, Love Beauty for Planet. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember what scent it was, so I'm going to just put up a generic picture of this one. This one had starch in it. It had starch in it. I used it maybe like two days. And by the second day, my armpits started hurting and burning and, you know, getting real sensitive. So I just knew I'm like, okay, it's the starch. This ain't going to work. So, you know, I had to switch back over to the Dove. And I think I used it up until the end of the summer or close to the end of the summer. And then I finally settled on the deodorant that I use now, which is this little fella right here. This is Schmidt's Coconut Pineapple Sensitive Skin Formula. So Schmidt's does have another line of natural deodorant that has starch in it. I have not touched that line. I don't know anything about that line of their deodorant but I recently saw that they came out with a sensitive skin line that doesn't have starch in it. So I'm like, okay, let me try it. And it smells good. So this, and I'm gonna just read real quick. It's got coconut oil in it. It's got more coconut oil. It's got shea butter in it. That's where I wanted to get to. So when you first, when I first tried it and I like went to roll it on, it was like mad hard. And of course, if you, anybody that's had natural hair or that's used shea butter, you know, shea butter is hard until you go like this and warm it up in your hands. <laughs> so you have to kind of do the same thing with this deodorant is that you sit it on your skin for like five, six, seven seconds, and then you roll it once it's kind of, you know, adjusted to your body temperature and it's a little bit warmer. So it'll apply, it'll apply easier. Let me see, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, this little baby right here has not clocked out on me yet. That is the most important part to me. This has not clocked out on me. I put this on in the morning and whatever I got to do for the day, I'm fine. Granted, I haven't tried this in the summer yet. That's really the true test of the natural deodorant is when it's hot outside and you're sweating and it's thus far this one has not clocked out on me I did go to the I have gone to the gym with this on I went to the gym today with this on I also when I went to Miami I went to Miami for my birthday in December I took this with me and it was it was like high 70s low 80s so and I was out there for a little bit over a week and I used this and I didn't have no problems. Like I said, I go to the gym. It's completely fine. Now, 
the one thing that I kind of didn't like about it was that it'll kind of stain your clothes. And what I mean by that is, so when I get dressed in the morning, I like to put my clothes on first. And then I like to, you know, go under my clothes and put on my deodorant. Because anytime I put the deodorant on first and then I put my clothes on, I promise you, my shirt is covered in deodorant every time faithfully so I like to get dressed first and then put on my deodorant but what I notice with this is that when I do that it half of the product first of all gets on the armpit of my clothes and then it just kind of sits there and soaks and it stains it so I do have a couple of shirts that just got I don't want to say permanent pit stains on them but they got some pit stains on them and I've been trying to get them out and right now they're not going anywhere so that's one thing. Recently, what I started doing is putting this on first. I put this on first and I literally have to rub my arms back and forth like this to rub it into my skin some more. And then I can put on my clothes and then I don't get deodorant stains on my clothes, on the outside of my clothes, but I still kind of get pit stains. And part of that too is because this is a deodorant. It's not an antiperspirant, which means you are going to sweat. Unfortunately, you're going to sweat. You're going to sweat. You're going to sweat. Matter of fact, last week, y'all, side story. Last week, when I was at my Sunday worship experience, which is what they, <laughs> we got a new pastor, y'all. So that's what he calls it. <laughs> so we were at Sunday worship experience up at altar prayer and I had on deodorant, so I didn't stink. But the next thing I know, I got hot, like hot, like I was sitting in hell, like hot. And I'm sitting there holding, you know, somebody's hand on this side, somebody's hand on this side. And I start feeling sweat from this armpit running down the inside of my arm. And I'm instantly in my head panicking because I'm like, oh my God, like it's sweat running down my arm. And the last thing I wanted to do is, you know, run down my arm and, you know, possibly get on this lady hand because, you know, she holding my hand or whatever. So I'm like, the last thing I wanted to do is get all the way down my arm and then get on her. And then I don't want her, you know, like I don't want my sweat running down my arm yet alone. Do I want to get on somebody else? So I'm at, I'm like up there, like panicking, like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I'm sitting there like going like this, <laughs> trying to like be discreet and like wipe it off onto my dress i had on a black dress so you weren't gonna see it so i do that and i'm like okay let me get focused you know back on the altar prayer do y'all know sweat started running down this arm on the uh, on the other hand and i was just like bruh so i'm doing the same thing panicking because i don't want it to get on this lady's hand either so i'm sitting here like going like this <laughs> during the altar prayer trying to like rub the sweat on my dress like onto my dress because it was literally running down my arms but I'm saying that to let y'all know that when you switch to the natural deodorant I don't care what brand it is you're going to sweat I've sweated with all of these on because they are not antiperspirants the the reason um that the other deodorants have aluminum in them. Aluminum is what, from what I understand, the aluminum is what actually stops you from sweating. So removing that from the deodorant, you know, this will neutralize whatever scent you got going on and you're not going to smell musty, but you are going to sweat because the aluminum isn't in it. So I did want to let y'all know about that as well. If you're a person that sweats a lot, you might just have to suck it up and just keep using <laughs> keep using the regular deodorant if you sweat a whole bunch. I normally don't sweat that much. And I will say too, it is kind of sometimes, I don't want to say embarrassing, but sometimes it is embarrassing because like we went out last weekend, it was All-Star Weekend, one no All-Stars in the building, but we went out, I'm looking real cute, I don't stink, but my armpits are sweating. So I'm like not trying to hug nobody. And two, because I had on a um I had on this sheer bodysuit. So 
even though it looked like I had on sleeves and stuff, you know, obviously I might as well have not had on <laughs> sleeves or anything. So I didn't want to like touch anybody or like hug anybody because I'm like, I'm sweaty and you know, I don't want to get my sweat on you. I use this every day now, but I think what I'm going to do is actually go back to the regular deodorant when I have something to do, when I have to meet people, when I'm going to be around a bunch of people and I don't want to be sweaty, you know? So, but yeah, that's my story. Hopefully that was helpful. Make sure that you guys like this video, leave a comment. If you've tried some natural deodorant that you like, leave a comment, let me know what it was. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I don't remember if I said that. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, period. Make sure that you guys follow me on social media at Sean the Baddest. Make sure that you guys go listen to my EP, my new single. I just dropped a new single on Thursday. It's called Favor. The link to all of my music will be down below. All the streaming services and everything, it's all one link. It's a fan link. So just go ahead and click on the link. Click on where you want to go and it'll bring up my artist profile. So you should be able to see all of my music. Um, anyway. That's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>